Back in Flash, we're going to look at some of our other export options now. I could look under Publish Settings, and I will see a few things here, one of which is a GIF image. If I turn that on, I could choose to make an animated GIF, matching the movie size, perhaps looping continuously, or playing once. GIFs have only a very limited set of colors, so I could choose to use the web color palette, I could dither it using, say, diffusion, and I could set a maximum number of colors if I was using adaptive, for example. That'll get me the best quality option these days. Now, if I publish that, it did actually publish all the ticked items at once. So it published the Flash again, it republished the HTML wrapper, which could be a problem if I've just edited that file in Dreamweaver. It's just been wiped out with whatever the HTML preferences are here. But let's have a quick look. In the Finder, we should now see a GIF file next to the just redone HTML and the SWF. If I preview that, pressing the spacebar, then I'll see that in this particular example, there's actually no animation yet at all. So I'm going to quickly flick back to Flash and introduce some animation to see how bad this could be if it was a bit more animated. So I've got 71 frames. I've just pressed F6 in the last frame. I'm going to move that up and create a classic tween. So it's moving and it's moving behind something else. If I now choose to publish and flick back to the finder, then I'll see I've got a nearly 900K image. And I'll see that, yeah, that moves and it's quite slow, but it's actually very, very inefficient. What you may find is that you're going to need to produce a specific version of your flash file to produce maybe a five or 10 frame animated GIF. You can't really do the kind of animation you could do in an SWF in a GIF. It's just not going to work. You may need to get rid of transitions and things like that. Anyway, once you've got your audio.gif file, you could insert that GIF file into your Dreamweaver file by exchanging the content here. Content on this page requires a new version of Flash Player. Everything in that div can be deleted and replaced with the image. So I'm going to insert this image, and it's not really a very appropriate image being 900K, but let's assume that we've replaced it with something much more you know, appropriate, say 40K. I'm going to quickly create a name. The alt text is important. You should always give a name to flash or image content. And I'll say OK, and make sure I drag it back to the right part of the code. You could type this if you're familiar with HTML, that's completely fine as well. What this will mean though is that people who can view Flash will get Flash and people who can't will get a GIF file instead. It's really quite important to do this to provide some alternate content for those who can't view Flash because no iOS device, that is iPhones or iPads or iPods, have ever supported Flash within the browser and modern Android devices can't download the Flash plugin either. Flash on mobile uh, is more or less a dead. It has been abandoned. Flash is good for the desktop, but on mobile, you'll need to provide something else. Another alternative strategy would be to export your movie as a video file. So you could put it on, say, a sharing site like YouTube or Vimeo. Another option would be to export directly to an app. So you could make an iPad or iPhone app directly from Flash. And that's what we'll be looking at over the next couple of tutorials.